Bluestacks is an excellent tool if you're looking to install Android games or apps on your Windows 10 PC. I'll walk you through the steps to get that up and running, so let's take a look. Here we are at the Windows 10 desktop. I'm just gonna open up my browser. So bluestocks.com is the official URL. And if you scroll down a bit here, you have the options to download it right onto your PC. If you're looking for an older version, you can click on see all versions right there. But I'm just gonna click on this and it's gonna automatically download the installer. This installer is for version five. So we'll click on that, let it open up and I'll minimize my browser and it's gonna begin the installation. You might get a prompt like this, just say yes, and we're ready to install Bluestacks. Now, at this window, if you wanna change where you're installing it, maybe you're running out of space, you can click on Customize Installation Options, and then you can choose a different folder on your computer. If you have another drive on your computer that has more space, you just have to go in here under this PC. I just have a C drive, but you might also have a D or E drive. You can select that and install it in there. So I'm gonna leave everything as default and then click on Install Now. Looks like it's about 610 megs i'll just jump to the end of this download okay so it's now starting up bluestacks it's just completed the installation uh, you can see that it says hyper v inaccessible so we have to grant it and restart it we're going to do that by clicking on this option right over here say yes to the prompt and it's going to restart the computer Okay, PC is restarted. We're back at the desktop. You can see that we have three new icons over here. One is a multi-instance manager. So if you want to have, try different versions of Android or run them concurrently, you're able to do that. Then you also have the default Bluestacks 5 icon right over here and then Bluestacks X. So we're going to be running the Bluestacks 5 because that is the most popular one to run. And it's going to take a moment here while it loads up. Okay, and it's loaded up, and now we're at the main screen of the emulator. We're inside Bluestacks, so what you can do next is now you can go ahead and sign into the Google Play Store, and you're gonna sign in with your Gmail username and password. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my Gmail account. Then I'll just enter my password. And then I'm gonna click on Next. Okay, I'm not gonna be adding a phone number in here, so I'll just skip this part and let it jump in. Click on I Agree and it wants to start using cloud services. That's up to you if you wanna have that on and off. I'm just gonna keep it as that, and then I'll click on accept. So we're inside the Google Play Store and we can install any game or app directly from the Play Store now that we've signed in. Uh, let me just click on the home screen here and you can see that we have some other pre-installed games. These are sponsored games, so they're already preloaded on here or they will try to install it from here. Uh, you don't have to feel obligated to use any of these. To quickly go inside, you can see inside system, the system app section, you have access to a camera. If you have a webcam, it should connect to it. Uh, settings for it, as well as Chrome and a media manager. Now over on the right hand side, so we have the uh, full screen option up here at the top and go full screen F11 to get out of that. Then you have the volume control to increase and down, decrease the volume. This is a locked key cursor, uh, the keyboard shortcut settings. And then this is a macro manager. If you have, this is actually good if you want to program your move repeatedly sync operations this is the memory feature to trim the memory that you're using if you're trying to clear up space if you want to sideload an apk file you can go ahead and click on this and then you can direct it to the folder that you have your apk files downloaded and then you can sideload it right into the app very useful feature then we have a screenshot tool over here click on the screenshot tool and it takes a capture of the screens so if you're in a game and you want to take a quick screenshot of it you just have to click on that and then you can choose a directory that you want to save it in access media uh, it'll go directly to a media folder within Bluestacks, and you can automatically load it in from there and then we have the rotation so you can rotate it right now we're in landscape but if you want to switch it over to portrait so it looks more like a phone uh, then you have that portrait set up and then you click on it to switch it back and if you're looking for a quick access shake feature to actually shake the device you can just click on that and it'll pretend as if you're shifting your phone and then we have the more options over here where you can get your gps coordinates you can uh, spoof the location that you're in you can set it by uh, gps coordinates this is a multi-instance manager right over here so you can change the version that you're running in if you want to try a different version you can just click on instance and then you can set up the type of instance that you want or also clone it and close out of that and then inside here inside settings this gives you the performance settings of Bluestacks and how it uses your computer so you can assign how many cores you want to have to it how much memory and the performance type also if refresh rate of your screen can be adjusted here as well and you can get into it you can go very deep into the display settings and how you want it set up uh, you can take up your entire screen if you wanted to if you adjust it to 1080p or i have mine at set at 720. Um, the graphic settings uh, it depends on the type of video card that you have but the rendering can be adjusted 
adjusted as well. As you can see, I have a crappy Intel graphics card, so it's not gonna do much here. Audio settings, you're just choosing the type of output that you're gonna have, like speakers or whatever. And then gamepad detections, if you were to hook up a USB gamepad to your computer, you can control it and modify it from here. Preferences just allows you to change some of the basic features for notifications. And then devices, it lets you know the type of device that you're gonna uh, show up as. So you have your network provider and device profile. You can adjust this as you want. So under shortcuts, then you can set your shortcuts for your keys to uh, trigger different types of actions. And you can have the actions over here. And these are the keys that you're gonna hit to trigger those actions. And then in advance, this is just giving you uh, some debugging information. If you wanna turn it on, it keeps a log file. And then about, it just gives you all those details. You can update it right from here by clicking on the update button. So I hope you found this useful. It's a basic tutorial of how to get it installed and set up Bluestacks on a Windows 10 PC. Uh, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.